counseling micro skills, validating. It's been kind of a busy week. We've been out and about every day and it's kind of helped me take my mind off of the missing tail. But then when things slow down on the weekend and we're just sort of lounging around in the sun and everybody else can swat the flies with their tail and I don't have a tail, I have to say it's still getting me down a bit. Well, in my opinion, Lionel, after having worked with a number of animals who have misplaced appendages, it can take some time to get used to that missing part. Yeah, I guess so. I heard once about this great big elephant that lost its trunk. Now that's a problem. Not being able to swat a fly is annoying, but losing your trunk, whoa. Have you ever lost your tail before, Lionel? Nope. This is the first time it's wandered off. I heard that they come back sometimes, you know, they get bored out there by themselves hanging from a tree like a monkey and they just come home, but hasn't happened for me yet. I'm not surprised that you're tired of waiting for it to come back, Lionel. I have a friend who runs a group and that's a really common sentiment among critters who have lost body parts. Well, at least I know I'm not totally alone, although I haven't heard of another lion who's lost their tail. Cheetahs, maybe, but not a lion. But, I'll hold on to the hope that comes from knowing that some other critters get their pieces back and maybe that'll happen to me.